What's going on, everybody? Everyone hates Tesla. And today we're going to be talking about the power demand that's necessary for the AI revolution. And a great thing is that Tesla has the solution. So I got the video up. We're going to play the video, but I'm going to play it on the background while I read off a quick monologue. Tesla's Mega Pack, a game changer for data centers, energy demands, and the age of AI. The rapid advancement of artificial intelligence has created an unprecedented demand on data centers, which power not only the AI models, but also the vast data sets and computations behind them. And with this surge in energy requirements, a critical question has emerged. How can we efficiently, sustainably, and cost effectively meet the power needs for data centers? Tesla has the solution. And one solution gaining momentum is the Tesla Mega Pack, an energy storage system designed to support large scale power applications as data centers evolve to meet AI's growing needs. In Tesla's Mega Pack offers a transformative approach to addressing their energy demands. Now we're going to let the video play a bit but I'm gonna to continue to read off my monologue, all right? So let's get active and get started on this video. Demand has never been higher for these racks and racks of powerful servers feeding the internet's insatiable appetite for computing in the cloud. The reality is that the cloud is not up there somewhere, it's right here. We are in it, you're in the middle of the cloud as we speak. And data centers like this can't ever stop. Streaming, social media, photo storage, and more recently and requiring much more data training and running chatbots like OpenAI's ChatGPT, Google's Gemini, and Microsoft's Copilot. And you can feel the heat coming off of these. Thanks to the generative AI race, data centers like this are springing up as quickly as companies like Vantage can build them. And that means demand for power to run them and cool them is through the roof too. If we don't start thinking about this power problem differently now, we're never gonna see the stream we have or the potential we have of this amazing technology that can truly change our lives. One ChatGPT query takes nearly 10 times as much energy as a typical Google search, and as much energy as keeping a 5-watt LED bulb on for an hour. J now let's hold on, hold on, to dive it into the details. This is amazing. Let's get to you. The current energy landscape of data centers. Data centers are a digital backbone of the modern world housing essential IT infrastructure to store, process, and disseminate information. And these facilities are notoriously energy intensive, as the actual video just showed you. And AI workloads specifically require immense computational resources and advanced models like those used in machine learning. Now, consequently, companies are under pressure, not only to meet these demands, but also to do so sustainably without escalating costs. And this is where innovative energy solutions like Tesla Mega Pack enters the big picture. So we're gonna continue to push forward in this video, but as you see, what I'm saying connects to what we have going on here in this actual video. Generating an AI image can use as much power as charging your smartphone. Hyperscalers building data centers to accommodate AI have seen emissions skyrocket. And this problem isn't new. Estimates way back in 2019 found training one large language model produced as much CO2 as the entire lifetime of five gas-powered cars. And even if we can generate enough power, our aging grid is increasingly unable to handle the load. If you look at the peak demand during the summertime, if the data center don't reduce their load, there could be a blackout. With the Ooh, could be a blackout, but dun 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 dun. How does Tesla's mega pack meet energy demands? All right. So the backup power during outages, the guy just spoke about outages, right? And for data centers, even a minor power interruption could result in downtime, data loss, and even security vulnerabilities. And Tesla's mega pack could provide backup power within seconds, filling any gap for grid instability and outages. And this ensures continuous operation for data centers, minimizing downtime and maintaining service reliability. Now we're gonna talk about load balancing. The guy just mentioned that, right? Load balancing and peak shaving. One of the largest expenses for data center is the cost of electricity during peak demand. The mega pack can reduce this expense by discharging stored energy during peak hours, thus shaving the peak and providing load balancing. Now this reduces both operational costs and sustains the grid, which is essential for energy intensive data center. Now we could use renewable energy for integration, but we can also use non-renewable energy. So both of these solutions are applicable 
to solving the data center energy demand and scalability and flexibility. Now the mega pack units can be added and removed as needed, allowing data centers to scale their energy storage as they grow or as energy needs change. And Tesla's module approach offers flexibility for data centers of all sizes, making it an adaptable choice for both small and large operations. Tesla wins again. Let's continue with the video. Looming question of whether we'll have enough power for the widespread adoption of generative AI, CNBC visited a data center in Silicon Valley to see those massive compute loads firsthand and talk to those at the center of the problem to find out what can be done. Money, 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 money for Tesla. Let's go. Money for Tesla. Let's roll. There are more than 8,000 data centers globally with the highest concentration in the U.S., but it's not enough. 8,000 and it's not enough. And those 8,000 don't have amazing customers like us. So we need to be your customers, okay? Allow us to come to your data center and solve your problem. Expect that the amount of demand that we'll see from AI specific applications will be as much or more than we've seen historically from cloud computing. The AI frenzy has data center demand rising 15 to 20 percent every year through 2030. And as companies like Vantage build more and more, getting enough power is key. Data centers could reach a whopping 16 percent of total U.S. power consumption by 2030, according to 16 percent, my guys. And guess what? High energy density for intensive processing. OK, here we go. The mega pack has solutions. So AI computations are often high frequently or high frequency and energy high intense. And Tesla Mega Pack offers high energy density, and meaning it could support low power intensive processing consistently and effectively. And by combining multiple Mega Packs, a data center can ensure it has the energy density required for peak AI processing needs without overburdening the grid. And a lot of people, when it comes down to just local municipalities having massive amounts of issues with data centers because it, it stresses and tax the grid. And again, dun, 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 Tesla comes in with the answer. One report, up from just 2.5 percent before ChatGPT hit the scene in 2022. That's the equivalent of about two thirds of the total homes in the U.S. Natural gas is expected to fuel the majority of this and utilities will need to invest some 50 billion to support the growth. Data centers that probably around 64 megawatts for the building itself. And many of those are being taken up by single customers. They'll have the entirety of the space leased to them. And as we think about AI applications, those numbers can grow quite significantly beyond that into hundreds of megawatts. 64 megawatts, 100 megawatts, how many homes? You know, on average, tens, of, tens of thousands of homes per data center's worth of power. Tens of thousands of homes of data centers. Now, of course, this applies to many companies. They're going to run off a couple of countries. Many big tech companies contract with companies like Vantage to house their servers. But the needs of some have grown so much that many have been building their own data centers. So the demand is so high for the data center that, that a lot of these companies just have to build their own data centers. They're like, yo, we can't wait. You know, we just need more juice. We need more power. Now we need more data centers and data centers are going to need more power. And power is something that we provide at Tesla. Guys, you, you see the connection? Thought of as power first. Now ARM makes all sorts of chips, including Neoverse for data centers. And as AI takes off, ARM's power efficiency has made it increasingly popular with tech giants like Google, Microsoft, Oracle, and Amazon. Well, I have here AWS Graviton. And AWS Graviton saves 60% power versus competitive architectures. Ooh, now that's pretty ridiculous. NVIDIA's latest AI chip unveiled in March, Grace Blackwell, uses ARM-based CPUs that it says can run Gen AI models on 25 times less power. And ARM says a data center filled with its chips can use 15% less power because of lower compute needs. If you think about the scale of data centers, 15% is almost 2 billion chat GPT queries. Think about that. We can light 20% of American households with just that 15% savings. And companies like Apple, Samsung, and Qualcomm have been touting the benefits of doing AI on device, a huge energy savings for each query kept off the cloud, off of servers like these, perhaps giving data centers time to build more and catch up to AI's insatiable appetite for power. See? 
They have to catch up for the crazy appetite of power. And this is why I said the real world solution is Tesla. The conclusion. Guys, paving the way for the future of AI-ready data centers. Tesla's Megapack presents a scalable, sustainable, and efficient solution for data centers, grappling with the energy demands of AI-driven workloads. And by offering reliable backup power and reducing peak loads and facilitating renewable energy integration, the Megapack enables data centers to operate more sustainably and cost effectively in an increasingly demanding landscape. And it's amazing that companies like Arc has a better architecture that reduces the power. So even within the chips or even with Apple's intelligence of most of the computing power being on the actual phone versus it's being forced or redesigned or redirected into data centers, that's good. That's going to help to reduce the demand of power but we also need our power grid to be more stable also and this is why tesla's mega pack is a good solution for it now you could look to other companies but there's not much companies that provide these storage batteries the only other company that does it is c-a-t-l as a chinese company and shout outs to big homie trump hopefully he has a tarf and protects our industries and allows tesla to take majority of the markets here. <laughs> now, as AI technologies continue to advance, the synergy or energies or a sync between Tesla's energy storage solutions and data centers will likely become pronounced, paving the way for energy resilient future. Obstacles are opportunity. Everyone hates Tesla. Thank you for being here. And you know, the future is electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. I don't think much people are connecting the two between Megapack, and then the new demand for AI and the data centers to process them. Tesla has another solution, even though we're still in the competition of our own FSD and our own Optimus robot. So it's going to be amazing. See you guys on the next one. Logging out. Everyone hates Tesla. Oh, and then also Elon Musk for the win. Peace.